Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and welcome. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of like a look see into the patch notes, the actual patch notes instead of like the coming soon banner that they put up. So we're actually gonna go to that right now through our like events and see what's up. Now I'm gonna have to put music behind this because it's so quiet. <laughs> but it seems like it's supposed to come in like tomorrow instead of like what what was it like the end of the um, the rewards and everything. That they were giving out and it also seems like they're not gonna just add in all six trans like I was saying in the last video because there was a possibility but it seems like they're gonna stick with the two trans it was like a little bit confusing for me just because they were like adding in six trans it's just like whoa you're gonna add them all together so that's what I was thinking I apologize if it feels misleading or anybody got their hopes up or anything but seems like trans Llewellyn and Stormbearer are coming I even saw, I kind of saw that coming from the start, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm going to get Llewellyn, like, straight off the bat as soon as she's released. You guys probably won't see me, like, create her in the video. But you guys will probably see her on Friday when my next Dragon Blaze video goes up. So, yeah. Alright, let's see what she's working with here. Let me just, whoop, so you guys can see the rest. But it seems like she's rocking some major damage here. Inflicts. Okay, so she reloads uh, 200 absolute piercing bullets and consumes one bullet for 300 damage on one opponent and inflicts 400 additional damage. Okay, okay, bullets are loaded when there's only one enemy and this cannot be affected by silence. Okay, that sounds pretty decent, especially if you're like fighting a boss. Could possibly be like really good on there. We're gonna have to see. All right, her next skill is Inferno Bomb, and immediately she load. Okay, immediately is spelled wrong. Load 200 Inferno Bomb bullets, consumes one, and inflicts 100 damage on all enemies. And additionally, casts a debuff. Oh, that does continuous damage over time for nine seconds. All right, that sounds. Pretty good. Does it stack? Okay, yeah, it stacks up to three times. Bullets are loaded only when there are two or more enemies. This cannot be affected by silence. Huh. Okay, I'm kind of liking her skills a little bit. The next one is Eternal Flame, and she throws a burning flame into the enemies. And when it explodes after three seconds, I think I've seen this. It's like a little bit of grenade that she like kicks under them. Then it explodes after like 3 seconds and it flicks, oh my god, and stuns them for 12 seconds? Okay. That's, that's gonna be like really good. Then additionally, when she uses Eternal Flame, she gets a attack boost of, oh my god. Alright, I like, I'm liking Llewellyn so far. So basically in a nutshell, she's built for like group fights and single target fights. So that's going to be interesting to see, but the downfall is if there's like two OP ones and you can't like, you want to like focus one down, you're not going to be able to because she's just going to load in the uh, Inferno Bombs instead. It's going to be like interesting to figure out and see how she plays a little bit. Alright, let's look at her passives. Each time Llewellyn reloads, the number of bullets consumed upon normal attacks increase by one. The max, okay. So it's pretty much like she gets a slow start off and she just starts consuming the hell out of them. Just pretty much like normal minigun logic. <laughs> Alright, her next passive is Burning Gaze. Oh, this is pretty much the um, stack party passive for um, Angelics. So this one decreases all enemies attack by 30% and increase your attack by 10% for every, for every Angelic inside of your uh, group. Additionally, decreases magic damage to Llewellyn. Whoa, that's pretty decent. Stormbear is down there. We'll we'll look at him in a second. Increases Llewellyn's normal attack by 200% and increases her attack and attack speed each time she reloads bullets. Stacks up to 10 times. Then the fixed damage on absolute piercing piercing gun and. The continuous damage on Inferno Bomb is times by two. This is upon uh, max, so yeah. All right, now I'm angry. Mr. Stormbear here. 
one of the characters that I actually like. So I might get him. Might. I think he was fused with uh, Pluto, so I'm gonna have to check that. All right, his first skill is Dragon Slayer, and he removes all buffs from enemies and inflict damage. Also, enemies hit with this heck are stunned for eight seconds. Use this skill to make Storm Pair acquire. Well, I can't actually use the skill; he uses it himself. But okay. <laughs> oh god, he has some long cooldowns too. I never looked at Llewellyn's. What is her uh, other cooldown for that skill? Oh. Around 30 seconds. Okay. Noted. But. Next is Power of Flame. It decreases damage received by all party members by 30% for 10 seconds and increase his damage and cast a buff that stuns enemies when they attack for 5 seconds. Alright. That one's actually pretty decent. Alright, Soul's Roar is his third skill. Focus all enemies attack on him. Oh yeah, so that's pretty much just uh, the taunt that he has. And melee damage received is increased by 50% and his rage is increased by 100. Alright, so I guess his passives deal with his rage. Okay, so Rampage. For 30 seconds during a Rampage, all enemies focus attacks on Stormbearer. His physical damage received is decreased by 30% and he cannot receive a shield. Ah, so that means he can't receive any shields from like uh, paladins and all that. So that sucks for him. Also, his attack is increased by 90% every second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know how much that stacks up, but I'm pretty sure it does stack. 30 seconds. Yeah, he's gonna be doing some pretty major damage. And receives damage equal to. 5% of his second for 8 seconds. Wait, what? Okay, I'm kind of confused. Did I did I word that wrong or... I, I don't know. I'm just going to continue and pretend like that doesn't exist. And cast a debuff that blocks all healing for each time he's attacked. Rampage ends when his HP hits 0 or the duration is over and he returns back to his previous state. Okay. That is going to be an interesting thing to go up against and like a hellish thing to go up against too. Alright, his second passive is gains two rampage each time he's attacked. Decrease... Oh god, this guy is just decreasing all kinds of physical damage but magical damage can still kill him. Ah, bad thing I don't run mages. This is going to be bad. I'm going to have to start running mages soon. Decrease physical damage received by all party for 10%. Amplify damage inflicted on all enemies by 30%. Also, your received damage decreased by 3% for each Bowden inside of the party. Alright, so that's just his normal um, Bowden team skill. Decrease all enemies by 50% and decrease your receive damage by 20. I have a feeling your team is going to be hard to kill with Stormbear around. Alright. Alright, here's his last one, his max skill. Stormbear will go into Rampage after his range based skill has been enhanced. He recovers 30% of damage inflicted on enemies as his own HP. Stamina increased times 3. Decreases debuff duration by 50 and return three of the receiving. Okay, so it's just basically a reflect of 30% damage back to the enemy. Also, the attack that is increased every second increases times two. So he's going to be a major powerhouse then. Jesus, I kind of want Stormbear now. I, but I'm kind of leaning to other like choices right now for our like free key we get at the end of the month, I believe. Oh, we'll see. I just think we gotta keep throwing down to see that. I was talking with the guild about it. I haven't looked at it yet. I kind of wanted to look at it with you guys. All right, here we go. Here goes uh, other updates besides those. Trans mastery quest uh, accessories enhanced. So that means pretty much when you get all the masteries, just pretty much when you get all trans um, angelic characters, you pretty much um, get like this 
accessory with it as soon as you master them, I guess. I think that's what it was, because you had to do the same thing with um, getting all the Dark Souls and Busters just to get a, like an object. But this is before it increased your HP, and now this increases your HP and weapon damage. Alright, skill types added. So skills are given properties of whatever they do, so that pretty much means range damage doesn't count as physical, I guess? Is what I'm guessing, so I could be good against Stormbear. Improvement to the auto retry. Ranking info added to auto retry. Displays ranking and auto retry window. Hmm. Okay, so that's basically like the PvP, I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, so this is pretty much the place like renewal that is inside the Korean version. It's kind of funny that they use the Korean, <laughs> the Korean uh, pictures just to show you guys what it's going to look like. So they're going to pretty much be basically separating everything. Everything guild related is going to be over here and everything just normal related is going to be right here for like your raids and adventure and tower and everything. Yeah, everything's going to be separated in one section now. God, this is going to be annoying to get through. So we'll split into two areas, like I said. And yeah, this, this is basically what I was talking about. They're just going to split them all up into different areas. One's going to be guild and one is going to be like the normal place we're all used to. Basically, guild's not going to be inside of that normal place anymore. And they're also adding some improvement, well, UI improvement to today and weekly tasks. And current schedule adjustments and combined reward systems. Yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> I really don't want to go through all that because that stuff I'm pretty sure we already know. Alright, siege battles and time has been adjusted, so yeah, I'm gonna be. God damn it. So they changed the time again. So now it's gonna be at 9 o'clock, so I gotta. I gotta. figure that out now. Hmm. That's annoying. So, even more gener generous amount of, okay, they even, they even know that they're being generous. That is the douchebag thing right there. They even know that they're being generous. So, they're going to give us, like, a key selector at the end of the 28 login to where you can get any key that's pretty much available right now. They finally put in giants inside of the key selector. So... What I'm hoping is that by the time, well, when they change it tomorrow, it would automatically be there. And I hope it does not reset anything that I will be close to actually just grabbing it and going instead of like, I don't know. Hopefully rewards will be like given out before like I reach mine, which I'll look at it in like a few seconds after this. But... But you get a choice between any key. But if you already have all the keys, you can just go 10 ally selects and 100 essence. And they're upgrading the fairy pets, apparently. It will be available for 30 days. It will last for 30 days and will expire at the same time you, you purchased it. Okay. Improving the beginner tutorial. We'll be adding content that allows players to acquire additional allies. Okay, they're probably adding in like the uh, pack they had, dude. Uh, what was it? They had added in like the 10 uh, ally pack, like recently, which was basically in the Korean version only, but I guess they introduced it like a lot earlier than I was expecting. And now they actually put the essence drops icon right here so you can know where essence dropped from. And now it seems they have a warning when you have a character that has no gear equipped. Okay. That's pretty good. Just uh, just in case I pretty much rank up a character and get eager to go in and forget I have gears on. I've done it before. I know I have done it before. <laughs> Other issues? Bug tracking? Alright, they finished some other issues. I know there's been a lot of, like, issues going around since, like, the last patch. A lot of bugs, especially inside of Tag Team. Inside of Tag, they need to fix a lot of bugs that are going on. 
All right, they're gonna be upgrading the latest Google splash art and improving the costumes slots. So now you can have a costume on this side and just be like, oh, I would rather wear this instead of having this show. So now you can just put on like this instead and just have this as a look and have this as stats. Pretty much how it's gonna go. It seems like they're upgrading the, um, your compare and everything. Oh, that. Better comparing, I guess. Huh. Then they're just gonna change their icon to Llewellyn, which I approve of. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all that's there, and... Pretty much the- oh, well, I can't look at it no more. I hate that. That is also something that is annoying. Once you get out of the, um, attendance, you can't go back into attendance. So I can't show you guys what I meant about the whole login thing. So, yeah, that sucks. But guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to look at. So I'm going to show you guys the progress that I'm in right now. Two more levels. Well, two, two more levels. Then, Asker is done. But I already have the essence ready for um, Llewellyn when she comes out. I wish I could lock those. No, I'm going to put them inside of my storage so I don't sell them by mistake or something. <laughs> Be my damn luck if I actually did. But, yeah. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys enjoyed the little patch notes and everything. Just pretty much all I got out going on is trying to finish Asker. So, yeah. Progress is in progress and... And things are happening and going along quite smoothly. Kinda. Kinda, kinda. But, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Till then. Peace out.